pleasant good morning welcome to transfest truck trailer rv today monday july 3rd tomorrow is july 4th i want to wish everybody a happy independence day tomorrow um today i got some great news for you well i don't know if it's great or not but uh we did have a little hailstorm that passed through our units uh, a couple weeks ago so i do have a great great um offer on the table right now we have about three or four units right now that little hail damage but we are discounting those units so we will be putting those online with a little uh, description on those and of course if you guys uh, some of the uh, stuff to look for is just a little bit hail on the uh, roof but again that's that's it that's one of the cool things about owning a Freightliner um, there was nothing done with to the hood or any other panels on the side of the unit so Again, I just wanted to put that out there to let you guys know, look out for those four units that will be posted online with that hill description on here with that huge, huge discount. So again, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in today. This unit behind me is fresh on the lot. So I wanna talk about it. It is one of our newer 2023's Freightliner M2106 Summit Hauler Conversion. We're gonna go over some of the features here, guys. As you guys know, uh, we'll go over majority of the stuff but um, when you guys come in on a delivery we will go in depth on how certain things work so again let's take a great look at this awesome white unit black interior white exterior summit hauler conversion one of the things i love about our summit haulers is that front end grill something that stands out a lot especially when you're driving this unit down the road that chrome grill with the summit hauler logo big up to the guys at the c9 company those guys have done an amazing job throughout the years with us uh, we go a little bit you know more when it comes to our grill we added another piece down here and that extra piece over here so we kind of block off majority of those holes on that front end to give you that clean look again the three-piece bumper for all those are new to um, our summit haulers or the freightliner uh, chassis by itself that three-piece bumper comes in very handy especially if you're in an incident where any of these parts are damaged you can replace that particular part you don't have to replace the whole bumper which is cool another feature here is our uh, tow hooks again you could use that to pull somebody out of a situation um, or somebody pull you out of a situation so uh, those come in very handy Let's take a look underneath the hood here. Now as I open up the hood, very easy to open. It does look big, but it's very easy to, to open and close. What you guys are looking at underneath the hood is a Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is a L9. Uh, it also partnered with the Allison six speed automatic transmission. This unit produces 360 horsepower and 1,150 foot pounds of torque. One of the cool things about Freightliner, as you guys can see right now, everything is color coordinated. That red you've seen all here is all part of the engine. And of course, one of the cool things too is how everything is clearly labeled. So as the owner, you could go into that engine. You guys could see everything clearly labeled here. I don't know if you could zoom in here. You guys could see right here. I won't even tell you what it is. You guys could see it for yourself. And going over here again, everything is clearly labeled. Um, one of the cool things too is getting into that engine as a bigger young guy <laughs> I could actually fit in here so again very easy to work on uh, stuff inside here apart from it being the engine transmission and all those fluids you have access to a few of your fuse boxes and those will be located up here again all those are clearly labeled as well some of the things that we do at Transwest when we bring in a brand new unit or a used unit, but when it comes to our new units, we do run it for our shop. We do what you call a PDI, which is a pre-delivery pre inspection. We make sure that there is no leaks, there is no air leaks, there's no um, liquids flowing down. We test our radiator fluid. We make sure that our filters are clean, even though it's brand new. Sometimes they do get dirty having it in storage and stuff like that before it converted. Um, so we make sure everything is in working condition before heading out the door. Another cool thing is we add the wheel balancers to all four corners of this truck. It is a disc that go between those tires. It auto, ba auto balances the vehicle 
as you drive. Another cool thing we do, we add those caps all around and you guys can see it around this vehicle to actually uh, clean up that wheel weld there. If you guys are um, checking into this vehicle, our stock number for this one is 5N221739. So you guys can go online and check that. We do have a link below this video that will show you guys exactly um, where to go on this unit on our website. Very easy to close, a nice little push, no hands. You guys can see it does have the soft close. So all you gotta do is just give it a little tug. It will go down gently, or if you wanna go a little faster, just add more pressure to it. There are two straps, one on each side. Feel, make sure that you strap those down on both sides before heading down the road. Another cool option here is all the lights on our unit here. Um, let me see what it's gonna look like in daytime if I turn this on. You will still kind of see those orange lights on that truck. Again, does come in very handy at night. Whenever you're driving, they will see you coming. Another cool thing about this summer, Summit Hauler Conversion, uh, we did listen to our customers' reviews. And of course, one of the things were to protect uh, fuel tanks on here. So we did create a door that is lockable. So we do have 250 gallon tanks, one on each side, and they are protected with this door that you could actually close and lock. Again, on the driver's side, you have a six gallon def tank. All those will be filled up before leaving the lot. So you don't have to worry about your first leg of your trip. You got your engine block heater here. The black side over here is the trickle charger for your batteries. And your batteries is located underneath that back seat. And you have four screws to undo to gain access to the batteries, which will be behind this casing right here. As the back door is open, I'm gonna show you guys this right here. Uh, this is the back bench. As you guys can see, I did mention it's a black interior. Summit Hauler logos all throughout those seats. Very comfortable seats, and of course, this bench does turn into a bed. And that switch will be behind the driver door, so the passenger behind the driver. And of course, that switch will allow this bench to go all the way down and turn into a bed. When you're not using it, you can bring it up. I would advise to get out, get off the, the bench before turning into a bed. You don't want all that pressure going on that motor. So you will come out or kind of stand up and have that seat go down. I had a few customers this weekend that test drove a truck like this um, and they reclined it while we were driving. So it was kind of cool to have that feature where they could relax and see how it feels like you know reclined on a trip another cool thing here is in the center we got some charging options this one does come with two 110 plugins and four usb plugins as well as you guys can see all the highlights in here is carbon fiber so you do have those handles in that dip carbon fiber look again you do have that four point entry on each door going in and out of that truck so the handle here, handle over here, handle here, and handle up here. So gives you easy access to go in and out of that truck. Underneath the seat here, you do have your safety triangles. So if in case you are on the side of the road changing a tire or whatever, you have those triangles like all those semis have. And underneath that seat, we do have a sub that will give you some quality sound if you are in the mood to Hear some really, really good music. As we continue here, guys, we do have four doors here. One of the things I like to mention is that our units or our Summit Hauler does have a 10 inch long wheelbase, 10 inch longer wheelbase from our some of our competition. So instead of 187, we are 197 on our wheelbase on this. So it gives us more, um, more length on this truck again. Uh, with this having more space or a longer wheelbase, we're able to use all the real estate we could underneath that truck. And you can see how much space we have in here, including our airline for our air supply, for adding air to any of our desired um, units. If in case it's a motorcycle, bicycle, your tires on the truck, your tires on your trailer, whatever needs air, those, that air, airline comes very handy. Again, more storage down here. All those are weather aligned, and of course, it is lockable, so 
If you have your personal items in here, you could lock them in place. This one does come equipped with a gooseneck ball. This one is the BMW turnover ball hitch. Again, if you're not in use, you could actually turn that ball over. That's what that the reason behind the turnover ball hitch. So you could actually turn that ball over and create a flat surface. One of the cool things about this as well, um, you could go either way. You could convert this into a uh, the Hen one of our Hensley trailer saver hitches. That's one of the options as well. Again, as you guys can see, there are holes on that frame here, that easy access for us to install that hitch. So if in case you decide not to go with this one, but go with the Hensley, uh, we could get that done right here at this location. Um, easy access to remove the ball. As you guys can see, there is a cutout here and it'll give you that easy access to this one. With the hole here, if you come a little bit closer, um, we do have airlines for our uh, glide hands for our trailer. So it is pre-plumbed for our glide hands. All you guys, all we have to do is install it to the back of the truck. So just wanted to point that out since we had that cut out in here. This uh, truck was spray bed line, as you guys can see, uh, protects the bed. Again, if you want to store a smaller car, golf cart, motorcycles whatever the case may be if you want to just tow those around again we do have tie down straps that are adjustable the reason why it stops where it is we do have access to add a storage box to the back end of that truck so if in case you do want a longer um, tie down strap or you know the uh, the metal to go all the way to the back that's an option we could always uh, call our conversion company get the parts that we need the length that we need and then we could screw it down to the bed of the truck. So that's an option. The reason why we stopped that uh, that far is because of that storage box that will be added if in case you do decide in the future to do that. Again, a built with a storage box will take approximately six to eight weeks to get done. Um, we will be building some of our units soon with storage boxes already on here. So that's one of the options we're gonna do. Um, and again, the price will show the difference um, when it comes to having the storage box or not having the storage box on here. As we continue, again, all the LED lights are on. The only thing that will not be on right now is those white lights. There is two in the bumper, back bumper and two up top. Those have a switch inside that will turn those on. Or if you put the vehicle in reverse, those lights will come on. So during your light test button switch we have inside, I'll show you what I mean, what I mean by that. Um, you will turn that switch on, it will blink. Let's do that because we haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to show you two things while we're outside. What our air dump is going to look like um, with our air suspension drop and when it raises. And the next one is our light test button. So I'm going to run to the uh, driver's side, start up the vehicle for a little bit. So as I'm starting up the vehicle, I'm going to trigger the light test button. And with that, there is a countdown. So right now there is a beeping sound happening inside the truck. It is about a 10 second countdown. Once it's done, it will give you that one long signal. And then when you come out, you will see all those lights blinking. So that's one of the cool features on here. You plug, a, you plug your trailer in, you come out, you test all your lights before heading out. Make sure there's no lights burnt out before heading down the road. But if one is burnt out, you could actually see it before leaving. So all those lights will be blinking, all the lights will be on. And again, if one is off, you could actually tag those and change it um, in the meantime. I'm going to turn on that switch that will turn on those four white lights and to make sure those lights are working. It is our optional switch or our cargo light switch. So it all depends on how the freight liner comes in. We will show you how that works. So we got all four lights on now. And you guys can see how bright those are. So just imagine if it's dark and you turn those lights on with your trailer. That is pretty awesome. So right now I'm going to turn the light switch button off, everything will come back alive inside the truck. And now I'm gonna show you guys what that air suspension dump looks like. 
went back into your trailer. So right now I release all the air in the back suspension. You guys can see how low it's going. It's about a couple inches down. Again, it works better so you don't have to um, lift your trailer too high, especially we having that trough on that bed of the truck gives you more clearance hooking into your trailer. Once you're done, there is a warning sign that will be going on right now inside the truck. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but there is a beeping sound right now just to warn you that your rear suspension is dumped. Once you're done, you're gonna click that switch again. The sound will release and then the air will go back in that suspension. As you guys can see right now, it's raising. Nice cool feature. Again, you will find them on most Freightliner units. Let's go inside right now, kind of show you guys some of the interior features. Again, there's so much, there's so much to talk about when it comes to those Freightliners that I wish I had all day, but that's what deliveries are for. That's what, you know, walk-arounds are for. So, as we come inside here, I'm just gonna turn the AC on. It's a little bit warm inside. So, we always start from the top up, but let's start from the bottom down. We're gonna start with all our cup holders here. We got four, and then we have an extra one here for your passenger, right here. And this closes in to get out of the way. We got a nice storage box in here with an LED light. It will turn on and off as you open and close that area. You have your in cab AC. So you have your fan levels, your different modes and your temperature. And this is your circulator switch. You have your red arc trailer brake system. Right here will be your, your setup here for Apple and Android capability. So you plug in your phone through here. Uh, you do have your sub knob here. So that subwoofer underneath the back seat controls that. As we come up, the air supply for your trailer. Like I mentioned earlier, if you do have an air trailer and you want your glide hands installed, it is pre-plumbed and ready to go. So all we have to do is install that glide hands onto that back of the truck. So this is your air supply for your trailer. Air supply for your parking brake. This truck is air ride. It does have air brakes, um, air ride cab, air ride front seats and of course that air suspension in the back. So we have a few buttons here. Again, once you get it and you know it, you know what you're doing. Um, you have four USB plugins here. You have your rear AC and heat. This is your fan levels for that, those fans in the back. Um, you have your power windows, power locks. That optional switch is what that switch I turned on for those four white lights in the back. So I'm gonna turn that off now. Right next to it here, we got your hidden mirrors, rear dump, suspension, and your light test button that we did not too long ago. Over here, we got your cruise control. This is to turn it on, set, accelerate, cancel, turn off, mark a light. Right next to that is our regen button. And over here is our traction control switch. Your Allison six-speed automatic transmission. Again, we got a few little options here when your truck is running and it's all warmed up there is a few things you could do. Uh, you could press that plus and minus button at the same time. It will show you a few options here. It will show you all life. It will show you filters. It will show you transmission. And if there's any codes, it will pop up up here. You call your local Freightliner dealer. You tell them the code, or they could actually uh, check out free event and actually go on the computer and see what's going on with your truck. Engine brake, you got your engine brake switch to turn on. You got your high and low setting on your engine brake. If you don't want to use that, you could actually turn that off. When you're using, um, when you're pulling a heavy trailer or whatever trailer you're using, or you're going down a hill or a mountain, you could use those, use that trailer brake. Or if you really want to use it constantly, again, ask your local Freightliner dealer, see how often you can use it, or if you just use it um, when you pull in your trailer. Over here we have our Stinger stereo sound system that we add to majority of our uh, summit haulers. This comes in very handy. It does have AM, FM, and satellite radio. Um, we do have the option here for uh, navigation. So you have to go pull down. Oh, that's your aux. Um, go up. Yeah, navigation is right here. 
So you do have navigation on here. You could actually select your different languages, select the length of the truck, all that different stuff on here. Another cool thing is you could actually add more cameras to this unit as well if you decide to put more cameras on here. But with the camera system we have, we do have the Voyager camera system. You guys could see what it looks like right now above the driver here. Um, the Voyager camera does give you a, a nice view of that back end of the truck. Even if a trailer sit um, hook up on that truck, you could actually still see the sides of that um, the trailer and the truck while driving. So nice cool feature to have. Again, this unit is brand new, 829 miles, um, ready to leave the lot like it's already hooked up with a gooseneck ball hitch. Again, if you guys are interested in any of those units or any of our hill um, units that will be posted online with that discounted price already on there, um, again, give us a call today. Like I said, with the hill damage on um, some of the four units we have on, on our lot right now, it's pretty it's pretty minor half of the people don't go on the roof to see what's going on up here but again um, if you guys want to check those out those will be available as we speak ready to leave the lot and again uh, we do have some new ones with no damage at all so give us a call today my number will be at the bottom of the screen my name is Marlon Bledman my co-worker is Larry Vickers you could call either of us and we'll definitely, definitely help you guys out. In the meantime, have a great 4th of July. We will be closed tomorrow, so enjoy that day. And then, of course, we'll see you guys back here on Wednesday for more videos and for more inventory. Thank you guys for tuning in and have a great, great Independence Day.